In an attempt to save lions like you can see daily here at Denver Zoo, curator of large mammals Holly Coulihan flew to Botswana in the summer of 2013. The country deeply cares for its wildlife, as ecotourism is one of its top industries. Vast amount of protected area is given to animals such as lions. Unfortunately, those lions can periodically hop fences into neighboring cattle lands, threatening the country's major livestock industry and creating a significant human-wildlife conflict as farmers will try to kill them to protect their cattle. Denver Zoo partnered with the country's wildlife department in an attempt to relocate and track wandering lions, but also just began a project never before tried with the species, Condition Taste Aversion. Conservationists take beef samples, treat them with a medication that makes the lions feel a bit queasy, and wrap the samples in cowhide before feeding them to capture lions. The goal is that the lions will then choose prey other than cattle by associating the smell with feeling sick. If you've ever had food poisoning and had a real aversion to, to eating or drinking, you know, that same thing that made you sick again, it's, it's the exact same principle. Coulihan says that little bit of distress is far better than the possible alternative. She says she hopes to return to Botswana in 2014 to continue helping with this ongoing project, one of many Denver Zoo programs around the world that helps save animals due to donor support. Pretty much all the conservation work that we do at Denver Zoo uh, is supported through donors, people that you know are interested in what we're doing and want to make a difference for what we're doing in the wild. So, so that part is is really critical. I mean, this work can't happen unless we have you know support from people that are really interested and passionate about what we're doing in the field.